Although I do consider myself an enjoyer of many multiplayer games, Project Zomboid has eluded me since its main release. On top of the many games I still have on my backlog, I never had a real chance to sit down and actually learn the mechanics on my own, since it felt like there was a steep learning curve. The only solution to this issue, of course, was to throw myself into the fire with Bunlad and try to survive for as long as possible. Got a gun. <gasps> because I enjoy a little extra challenge, and also because I had no idea what I was doing, I ended up creating Josh Dretmich, a weak, deaf, and illiterate smoker, but he also dabbles in a bit of gardening. In retrospect, this run was incredibly bleak for us from the get-go. Oh. While yes, there's a lot that I could have improved upon. Um, how many zombies are there, if I, if I could add? <laughs> help? Help? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I could take a shortcut if I go through here. On my way, dude. There was a lot of malarkey as well. Actually, I'll just meet you, don't worry. Uh-oh. I won't spoil any more, but if you enjoy this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing, as it helps me out a ton. Thanks for watching. Oh, um, Sean, let me know if you need help with anything. I'll let you. I'll help you. I found. I'm a, I'm I found. A I found I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a found. Pro. I found spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Um. Uh, if you. If oh, you looks hear like an the alarm, neighbors are out and about. Coming. <laughs> the neighbors, dude, out for a uh -oh. nice day in the. Uh oh. What? The neighbors. Yeah, we'll, we'll find each other soon. No, I see a large pile of zombies. Are they dead? Are you in this hole? Oh. No. Hey, dude. It's not me, dude. Yeah? It's not me. Are you positive? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah, it's not me. Uh-huh. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna drink this whole car into milk. Ew. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, brother. Okay, brother. I went the wrong I... way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Blood is definitely not making out of this one. I think I heard you get bit three times at least. I just have no sound effects. Are you Imagine deaf? just walking away from Oh, the I am zombie. deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Here, do you want an orange? Just kidding. I'm uh oh. You just- you just died in front of me! <laughs> oh no! Jesus, you're back from the dead! <laughs> Don't worry, Sean, I'll save you. Thanks, dude. Yowch. Hey. Um, how many zombies are there, if I- Help. if I could ask? Help! <laughs> Help! Help! Help me! Help me! <laughs> Help, help me, please. Help me, please. Alright, I could take a shortcut if I go through here. Please. On my way, dude. Hey, dude, I'd really appreciate your assistance. Oh, dude, okay, I'm coming again, okay? Let me let me get out of this house. Okay, where are you on the map? I, how am I sp can I maximize the what map? Are your, what are your what are your what are your surroundings? Uh, Look on the bottom. Do you have a map on the uh, bottom? Right? Yeah, a wonderful Three-way intersection. Oh, it's my body! Three-way intersection? It's where I um, died first. Oh, there you are. Hey, I'm behind you. Hey, dude. Hey, Jesus. Hey, man. You wanna kill, the, you wanna kill these guys before they follow up? Okay, hold on. There's a few of them, actually. I have an idea. I gotta take some clothes off, though. I got an idea. I gotta I got take some clothes off, though. Alright, dude. Get freaking naked. I don't care. Alright. Okay. <laughs> How do I how do I smoke these things? So there you go. Hold on, let me let me let me smoke with you. Let me smoke with you. Yeah, are you calmed and relaxed now? Need another one. Another one. Whoa. My suspicions about Project Zomboid were confirmed. That learning curve was in fact steep. With every attempt, though, I felt like I was slowly improving, albeit misinput by misinput. At the very least, Josh didn't seem too bothered by- Hey, what is he doing? My flesh is broken and torn anew. I am placed within the confines of this world not by my own choosing, but by my own master's spite. I'm a mere pawn to him, a mere move to make, a mere expense to expend. I walk this earth not knowing what awaits me next. An endless cycle of pain encompasses every fraction of my body. I loot. I eat. I die. I go forth into this night with the lantern ignited only by my hopes and dreams. And 
to resolve. That remains unbroken. Yeah, yeah, okay, buddy, come on, get a move on. We got hordes of zombies to kill. Alright, so what's the move, dude? What's the move? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know, dude? You're literally naked, you know what to do. Okay, this way. Are you sure? I'm sorry, are you doubting my abilities? Sorry, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, ouch. That is a lot of alcohol on that table. Okay, window will no open. How about this one? Nope, that one will Ooh. open. Damn. One of these windows is gonna are open. these... Are these... <sighs> pants? Is, is this a responsible family? Oh, never mind. I got something even better. I'm gonna lay down in this right. house and until you start to get with the program. Dude, which house? Okay, I found a pair of pants in the kitchen. I must be close. Okay. Had enough of this, dude. Alright. I'm literally Rick Grimes, dude. Do you see my freaking gun? Alright. Get up. Hands in the air. Okay. And a whole first aid kit, dude. There's a whole first aid kit. Can you freaking believe it? No. Alright, well, I have meds. So, you know, when you're when you're like, Oh, I hurt myself. Oh, I hurt myself. Don't ask me for any freaking help, right, dude? There's literally a zombie downstairs, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Are, are you wearing makeup, a bra, and a skirt right now? I was just gonna say, you're LARPing as a woman so well right now. <laughs> I, I used I used the clown makeup because everybody sees me as a fool. <laughs> just a small glimpse into my dark. I'm leaving. I'm leaving Sean in the house. <laughs> there's at least two zombies. Oh, okay. I was gonna say there's at least two zombies in there. I don't. Hey, hey, man. There, there was one upstairs. What? What could I possibly be referring to when I say there was one upstairs? You tell me, for, dude. I need, dude, I need a smoke after this, dude. You're just stressing me out. <laughs> Am I? You're stressing me out. Found a gun. <gasps> so about that zombie that was upstairs. Yeah. Did you find him? I found him. Remember where it said police on the wall? Mm -hmm. Of like the building? I'll be uh, across the street. Oh no. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I died. I did not. I did not rack the pistol. 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 Brother, are you all right, dude? Yeah, I'm good. Kind of. Is, is brother all right? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I'm good. All right, let me hide out. Man, I am. Bathroom. I am extremely panicked and anxious, in minor pain. I'm in uh, pain. Caring a little to too much and unpleasantly hot. Ah, uh, yes, I'm bleeding, of course. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, 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 oh god! <laughs> yep. Hey, my aiming increase. Is a crawler? Can you kill him? No. Yes. All right, you got him. Nice. Oh, I did get him. I I really can't right. tell because I'm deaf. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah, I just passed through. Oh. Just passing. Excuse me. Through. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Just passing through. All right. Let's see the damage. Scratch in my left hand. Uh, Alright, nothing like a quick little bandage won't fix. Uh, I'm actually quite safe at the moment. Fantastic. Buddy, now is the time to be running. <laughs> yeah, um, hey Sean. I don't want to alarm you or anything, but there's, um... Maybe a quarter of the population going through the front door. Yeah, right. Yeah, keep going that way. Actually, I'll just meet you, don't worry. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. Good thing I'm freaking agile. Alright, so, I got canned chili. Let me open that real quick. Oh, man. This was the farthest I was able to take Josh yet. But you, you know, know what they, they say. say. No good progress is made without a couple of jumps backwards. Or something like that, I guess. The power of retrospect is important here because I am able to deduce exactly why I died. 
It can be as simple as not taking a certain hallway or fumbling around with keybinds and menus for too long. It's a learning experience for me. Oh, come the on, fire dude. burns from within me. I will escape this panopticon and make my own fate. No longer will I throw myself at these aberrations, and no longer will they feast upon my bones. They have awoken the sleeping dog, and now they will pay the ultimate price. Whether it be now or later, lest be damned, I will find a way to break the surface tension of the slake of which I have been chained to the bottom of it. So much for the illiterate part, am I right? You've been reading too many emo novels, Josh. Let's go to move on. Like the, this one with the sink, there's bandages in there. And the one next to it. Cotton balls. And there's, alco there's uh, alcohol wipes. There's alcoholic wipes, too. If there's, if there's any time to learn how to heal yourself, Sean, it's now. Don't worry. Okay. Wash, drink. Wash <laughs> to, uh... <laughs> look, at, look at the fit right now. Your fit is um, in impeccable. You look like that one guy from Blue's Clues. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have a weapon. Oh yes, I do. I have, I have an axe. Actually, do you want my nightstick or my hammer? I'm gonna dual wield some scalpels. Brother, there's no way you're fighting zombies with scalpels right now. All right, I'm gonna open the door. Okay. Yep. Oh. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, we. I go. killed them both. That was, that was relatively easy. I got this guy, man. I got him. I got him. Right, you get him, dude. Boom. You get him. Boom. Boom. See? Nice, dude. That was pretty awesome, actually. I wasn't expecting that to work. <laughs> <laughs> How am I feeling queasy? Did I take, like, a, a cocktail of meds? And my character's not like that? He's not like that. <laughs> okay, that zombie just teleported. Okay, I'm out of here. Hey, dude. I'm not going hey, down dude. without a up, fight. Dude. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. Dude, you're, I'm you're, running. you're literally fighting, dude. You're fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I got that. Uh -oh. oh, this guy's got the Vanoss merch. <laughs> All right. Or the Vlone. Okay, no, he's I'm got not... the Vlone. <laughs> I, I need this guy's Vlone. Hold on. <laughs> All right, dude. You want to you wanna talk about our, our situation right now? Yeah. Got to iron some stuff out, you know? <laughs> Yeah, mm hmm So, is it over for us? Be it, real. It might possibly be over. Yeah, I mean, I'm already feeling a bit weird. But, because, the, I think the reason why I'm queasy is because I don't feel well mm. from the bite. Because I tried, I tried everything. No, you might be queasy and all, but the thing is, I still don't have cigarettes. Oh, oh sorry about that. Here, let me, I got you, dude. Um... There you go. Oh, thanks, dude. Well, that's good. Okay, I think I'm ready to go fight now. Okay. Dude, we, we were quiet for so long that a zombie actually just, like, laid down and just took a, a nap. Oh, dear. And now that I started making noise, he got back up. Time to fight back! Uh... Boom. Boom. Hey, officer! Okay, I then. need to eat. I need to eat. All right, dude. What's the next freaking move? I don't know why you're asking me, man. I guess uh, let's hit the road, dude. Oh uh, yeah, let me just drop this gun and things of that nature. All right. If I could figure out how to drop this gun. All right, here we go. And then I don't need any of these. That's a lot of bullets they just dropped on the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm Not looking good for for your fellow here. So I think w what the only right thing to do is, is just go out guns blazing. Imagine if we find, imagine if we can drive this pickup. Nope. Hey, a fabulous. Hey, I got in. Is there a key? Oh, there's a key! Get in here, dude! Let's freaking get out of here. What do you mean no key for this car found? I- there's a key! I have that key! Do I have to put it on my person? Hold on. There we go. Uh-oh. Dude, we need gas. We need to put gas in this thing, dude. No! It got nothing. Don't even- don't even- don't even fright. 
<gasps> Empty gas can. Okay, 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 okay. Empty gas can. Pickup truck in the front of the freaking firehouse. Thing. All right, dude, we're freaking home free. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the sound of the police. Hold on. What are the funny buttons on this thing again? Might have engine problems, but no freaking, no freaking biggie. Can I drift this thing? Oh yeah, yes I can. There it is. I found the funny buttons. You're gonna be freaking happy, dude. I would be happy if it wasn't lagging all over the place. Oh. Oh. This is a anticlimactic. Right, um, let's go. Um, I mean, I don't know. Where do you want to go? Do you just want to? Do you just want to drive to our heart's content or something? I guess yeah. Dude, we're freaking. We're we're enjoying our freaking time. You want to want to listen to the radio? What is this? Some kind of sick joke? Let me see if I can actually find um a thing to listen to. Oh wait, no, you're deaf. I forgot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Yep, yeah, it did the thing again. It went into neutral for some reason. Oh yeah, I hate when that happens. Oh. My fault. My fault, oh, gang. Oh god. Oh. I may I'm have bleeding. a broken bone. I may have a broken bone. You scratched my hand, dude. I may have a broken bone, but we're fine. We're fine, dude. Stop yapping, dude. Jeez. I don't know if we should take this path, but I think we should take this path. I don't care. The only thing I know is that I'm chain smoking right now. There's nothing I can freaking do about it. Dude, no smoking in the car. Yeah. Oh, hello, police blockade. Things have gone from okay to better to worse to terrible within five minutes. Not only had Bunlad broken his hand, but now we were face to face with the final obstacle before we made it to the military encampment just beyond this road. Hey Josh, I know I've been avoiding you all day, but do you have anything else As to As we add? disembarked okay, for the first and last time, my thoughts drift to the journey that led us to this final stand. From the onset of this nightmare, the days blurred into a continuous fight for survival, each moment a battle against the unrelenting tide of death that swept across the land. I remember the faces of the versions of myself that I lost. Their voices now whispers in the wind, echoes of a person that once was. Finding the ambulance was the glimmer of hope in the relentless darkness, a beacon that perhaps, just maybe, could outrun this apocalypse. The roar of the engine was like the beat of a heart, a sign that life still coursed through this ravaged world. For a fleeting moment, as we navigated the desolate streets, we dared to dream of sanctuary, of a place untouched by the calamity that had befallen us, a supposed military encampment just beyond. But hope, it seems, is as fragile as the peace we took for granted. The blockade was a stark reminder of the new world order, where the vestiges of our past lives mock us in our despair. The sight of those uniforms, once symbols of safety and order, now nothing more than a cruel joke played by fate. Death and its cruel and unjust nature has always been a constant companion on this journey. It stalked the shadows, biding its time, and discriminating in its choices of when to strike. And although I fought against it, rallied against the dying of the light, it seems that it's claimed old Dreadnich at last. In those last moments, as the end draws near, I reflect on the beauty and tragedy of our existence. Life, in all its complexity and wonder, reduced to mere moments of fear, love, desperation, and hope, have come to understand that death is not the enemy. It is the inevitable conclusion to our story, a story that I fought tooth and nail to extend to you and if just for a little while longer. If you're to take away any of this, know that I lived. In this world turned upside down, where each day could be our last. That is our greatest defiance. Our memories, our struggles, our dreams are testament to our resilience. In the face of this cruel and unjust force, we find our humanity, our will to keep going, and fight until the very end. And now, as the hordes gather and the darkness consumes me, I leave behind my fears, my hopes, and my regrets. As the final light grazes my eyes, I see my comrade fall beside me, to join me on this eternal ferry into the next life. Remember us not as victims of this apocalypse, but as survivors who dare to dream, even when the night was darkest.